For you, and if you kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like buttons and side to comment. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, hit the likes button and click the notification bell for more video updates. So yeah, let's do this. Hi guys, have a nice day. So today is my first day of reading um, Nicholas Parks message in the bottle so as you can see in my youtube channel i don't read that much book in this month but i have books to read and i didn't yet finish the tbr for september because i am busy on packing my things in order for me to go out to move out in this dormitory and yeah as you can see i don't have now already things here and Right now, palang ako nag start of reading this message in the bottle. So yeah, so I I rested for two weeks because I'm so tired in packing my things, packing my books, sending at home, and right after I will go home. Uh, right now, I am at page six of the book message in the bottle yeah i know that i already watched the movie of this and oh my god it says here so it says in the book uh teresa osborne is the main character here and uh, yeah she was walking at the seashore at the beach and you know something like that and we will see what will gonna happen here so oh my gosh and as you can see my hair is on blend but not yet finished <laughs> this hair is not yet finished because uh, I will go home and my after going home I will make it super blend pa more so yeah I am so so tired that's why I didn't read books for two weeks so let's continue reading and I hope uh, you enjoy watching my vlog and also guys I am using only phone here and my phone is broken as glass is cracked already. I don't know where to uh, no, to fix this but my sister knows how. So yeah, when I got home maybe. So yeah, see you and keep on reading guys. Keep safe.
message in the bottle by Nicholas Parks. So, si Teresa was born dito ay um, hiwalay sa asawa. She was divorced and yung asawa niya na ang pangalan ay si David ay may asawa ng iba. Sila ay may anak. Tama ba ako? Yeah. Yun, that's all. So, at yung anak nila, ang pangalan is Kevin. So, yun, let's let's see kung anong story nito. Pero, matagal na kasing napanood ko yung movie nito. Kaya, hindi ko na rin masyadong maalala. So, babasahin ko na continue. So, this is a total page of 600 600. Total pages of 370. So, I think this is 3 days to read. So, yeah. This is my first day reading and see you later, guys. Message in the Battle by Nicholas Sparks. Here it goes. So, doon sa page 22, doon sa page 20 to 21, nakahit sa doon, nag-vacation nag siya, super busy siya, even though meron na siyang anak na isa, eh, nagtrabaho siya ever. And then, yung asawa, di ba, may asawa na din iba. Siya ang na, na ano, siya yung naiwan sa ere. Ngayon, nag-vacation siya. And then, pumunta siya sa tabing dagat. Malapit lang sa kanila yan, guys. And then, nakakita siya ng bato. Pero yung bato pala, hindi bato. Kundi siya is smooth like bottle sa tabing dagat. Tapos, alam nyo ba? Naalala niya na nung siya 8 years old, eh, meron siyang ginawang ganun na bottle na naghihintay siya ng sagot do sa letter na pinadala niya through battle sa tabi niya, pero walang dumating. Nahihintay niya palagi yun, pero walang dumating. So, na, ano na niya yun, nakalimutan na niya at hindi na niya yun hinintay. Hanggang sa siya nag-asawa. Tapos, guys, ngayon, pagpunta niya doon sa beach, kung saan siya ay nagbakasyon, nakikita siya ng bato, guys. Tapos, yun nga, pala ni bato, binuksan niya, ang hirap buksan daw. Tapos, may, may letter doon. Yun, guys, yun yung binabasa ko ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> sabi sabi niya it was an expensive paper thick and sturdy with silhouette of sailing sheet in both in the upper right hand corner and the paper itself was crinkled, aged looking almost as if it had been in the water for a hundred years she caught herself holding her breath maybe it was old it could be there were stories about bottle washing up after a hundred years at sea, so that could be the case now. Maybe she had real artifact here. But as she scrutinized the writing itself, she saw that she was mistaken. There was a date on the upper left corner of the paper. Tapos, ito na guys. <laughs> ito yung letter. Mabasahin natin dito. Yeah. July 1997 passed. So, July 22, 1997. A little a little further, the message was long. It covered the front and back side of the paper and it didn't seem to request any reply of sorts. A quick glance showed no address or phone number anywhere. <laughs>
With breaking heart, I should slowly fade away. I find myself straining to remember everything about this moment, everything about you, but soon, always soon, your image vanishes and the fog rolls back to each faraway place, and I am alone on the fear, and I do not care what others think. <laughs> So yun guys, yung letter. So hindi para sa kanya. Kasi ang pangalan niya ay Terenza Osborne. We will see what we're done happening. Kasi napanood ko to, bata pa ako. As in elementary pa yata ako long long time ago yung movie nito. Pero hindi ko na maalala. Ang naaalala ko lang yung battle doon sa dagat. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue reading. I am at chapter 2, page 26, going to 27. So yeah, see you later. ganda ng story. Actually, may iksi yung movie eh. Parang nabibiti na ako. Pero mahaba yung books. So, siguro dahil, syempre, maraming story here. Pero pinaiksi ng movie. And, ayun, ang nangyari si si Gary. Si Gary here is a uh, biodo. Siya yung nag-send ng letters to uh, the battle and send out to the sea. Pero yung asawa niya, yung third battle, bago namatay. At hindi niya alam kung ano nakalagay doon sa letter ng asawa niya. At hindi niya yun man lang nabasa for almost years. Ito naman si Teresa Osborne. Siya yung nakakuha ng complete set of battle na kung saan nandun yung letters. Kasama yung letter ng asawa niya. Then, nung namit niya si ano, Therese, Teresa is, ano, you know, uh, doon lang niya nabasa yung letter. So, akala ni Kevin siya yung naluluko lang at nilatahala kasi yung letter niya na di naman akalain ni Therese na siya yung makakakuha nun. At hindi naman niya kasalanan na i-public yun sa, sa newspaper, guys. Pinablisay sa newspaper kasi din na niya sa trabaho siya ay isang writer, guys. So, ayun. Hindi niya gagawin yun kasi parang noo na palang nabasa niya yung letter na yun. Parang nainlag na kaagal siya dun sa lalaki. Then yung lalaki, meron siyang ginagawang boat na future na hindi pa niya natatapos. Ayun. <laughs> so, maganda yung story. Napaka, ano, nung lalaki, guys. Napaka-sweet niya. Alam nyo ba, ang tatay niya yung fisherman, 
Pero wala nakalagay dito kung ano yung trabaho niya, guys. Siya ay nag-ano na mga, ng boat, nag-dalayag siya, ganun. Tapos, nag-design nag siya ng boat. Oh my God. Tapos, so, sabi niya doon, isasakay niya doon si, um, Therese, Teresa, doon sa bangka niya. And, and guys, naiyak ako ng konti kasi, you know, yung feeling na nawalan ka ng asawa na matay. Pero wala naman kalagay dito kung bakit siya namatay. Basta nung last part, yung pinakita doon sa movie, tinapon ng asawa niya yung battle na nung yung letter para sa kanya. Pero nakalagay doon, anger and everything, ganun. Tapos din nala nung lalaki, yung asawa niya doon sa hospital, din na namatay after 3 days. Hindi ko alam kung may sakit or what. Parang nalulungkot ako doon kay Gary Garnett. Ang galing ng kanyang letter. Pero yun know, Pero wala na kalagay doon kung ano pinag-aralan niya. Pero maganda yung pagkagawa ng letter niya. So, yeah. The... Panood ko na yung movie. Napaka short story nung sa movie. Pero hindi lahat doon naka-elaborate. Pero once you read the book, kompleto to guys. Kasi doon sa movie, hindi nakalagay kung ano yung pinag-aralan ni Garrett. So, hindi man nakalagay doon. So, dito, nakalagay dito na si Garrett ay nag-aral sa University of North Carolina, UNC. At ang tinapos niya ay um, major in marine biology and may specialization siya. So, yun. Kaya pala magaling siyang gumawa ng bangka. Pero, hindi man lang palagay ito sa, ano, sa story. Hindi ko lang alam, ha, pero... <laughs> wala akong nadinig doon na nagpakilala siya. Ang, ang na, na, napanood ko lang, si Teresa Orborn, Osborne is nagpakilala na siya ay writer, na tapos siya ng college, na ganun guys. Book is nag-aral siya ng college, graduate siya ng college. Uh, maganda nga din kanyang ano, itinapos eh. Kaya pala maganda siyang gumawa ng bangka. So, ayun, napaka... Kaya mayaman si Garrett, eh. Mayroon siya ako. Basta, napakaganda ng story. Tapos, ayun, <laughs> OMG. Nung last part, naiyak ako dun sa movie, pero hindi pa ako naiyak dito sa libro. At nandun pala ako sa time na sila ay nagkakilanlan. Kasi itong si Teresa, hinanap niya si... Sino to? Si Garrett talaga. Hinanap niya talaga. At yun yung sana yung magiging ano nila sa newspaper, yung story. Pero, since parang na-in love si Therese, Teresa Osborne, parang hindi na niya pinurso yung story. Pero nakalagay dun sa newspaper yung mga love letter na si Neil sa Walter na nakita niya sa uh, message na sa loob ng bote. Eh. Message in the battle. Ganun sa title. So, yun. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's continue reading this guys. You know, I am so so feeling iyak iyak kasi you know, talagang si Nicholas Park pag nagsusulat ng ng movie made, medyo may pagka-dramatic and then pamisan oh, kalimitan may namamatay and then hindi magkakatuluyan. Mga ganoon. Yung the notebook, maganda ng story noon, iyak iyak din yun guys. Parang hindi rin yata sila nagkatuluyan doon. <laughs> Para mga sakit ang mga ending ba? Pero maganda ang story. Super good. Alam ko na yung mangyayari sa end, pero gusto kong mabasa yung libro. And, yeah, oh my God. I feel, I feel sad. And, medyo niyak-iyak nga ako. Super talaga. Bakit? Parang, hindi ko alam. Basta, sasabihin ko na sa inyo in the end of this book. And then, gagawa ako ng review for this book after kong matapos tong librong to. Short review lang, guys. So, yeah. See you later. sa part na kung saan parang nagkaroon sila ng pagtatalo then 
umalis si um, guard kasi nalaman niya na nasa na kay Teresa Osborne yung tatlong letter and yan, nabasa niya yung last letter and then iniwan niya si Teresa Osborne next day si Garrett sa airport then wala siyang masakyan na flight then naghintay siya kinabukasan, hindi siya natulog ayun, nandun ako sa part na yun guys, so yeah let's finish this case and oh my god OMG, so yeah actually mabait na ama si ano, Garrett kasi yung anak ni ni Teresa Osborne, pinasyal niya, eh, tinuruan niya magbangka, ganun. Gustong gusto siya ng anak ni Teresa Osborne. And, maganda nga story, yun lang, hindi natin alam pa na. Kasi, alam pa na yung ending, eh, parang nakakaiyak ni eh. So, ito sa story na to, mas mahaba ito kaysa dun sa movie. At, kompleto to, may mga part dito na wala sa movie. At, kompleto yung details dito sa libro. Mas maganda magbasa ng books, guys. Actually, so yeah, let's continue reading and after reading, isasama ko na ba ang review? Hindi. So, tatapusin ko na muna yung reading nito and ihahalo ko na yung reading nito kaya sa at first sight. Oh, hindi na. So, ang gagawin ko na lang, reading vlog muna and review, short review na lang. So, pagsasamahan ko, pagsasamahan, Pag, di ko alam kung pagsasamahan ko na lang yung review nito sa reading eh. So, yeah. See you later. So, guys, I realized kaya namatay si Catherine dito sa story na message in the battle. Punti siya, then din na sa hospital, namatay siya doon. So, yun, namatay din yung baby story. Pero hindi ko naano dun sa movie yun. Pero nandito sa libro lahat yun. Yes. So yeah, let's continue reading. So guys, ayun. Namatay si, si Garrett Blake. Kasi nung mali siya ay may bagyo. Manon. Pupuntahan daw niya si Ed. Kasi diba walang flight so magbabangka na lang siya. Eh, ngayon may sinasagip siya ay Sinagip niya, pero siya nalunod guys sa uh, water. Pero napanood ko doon sa movie guys, eh, parang, nagpaka, parang, nagpa, parang nagpalunod lang siya guys. Eh, di ba, sinagip niya, may sinasagip siya. Tapos, nakita noong isang lalaki na lumubog siya ng pusa. Yun ang napanood ko doon sa movie, pero dito sa book, nalunod siya. Tapos, eto yung mga message. Wala to dun sa movie, guys. Noong kasi sa movie last part, pumunta si Teresa Osborne dun sa bahay ni, ano, ni Garrett Blake. Then, sabi nung ama patay na. Tapos, umiyak si, ano, ganun. Then, binasa niya yung battle. Tapos, nandoon yung letter na. Tsaka yung sing-sing nakalagay dun sa, ano, sa sulat na para nagpaalam na si Garth Blake sa asawa niya na nagpapasalamat siya na in love ulit siya sa pangalawang pagkakataon kay Teresa Osborne at ito si Teresa Osborne tina, pinadama sa kanya na yung pwede pa siyang magmahal muli kasi itong si Garrett para siyang na-depress super ganun di ba yung grief sa pagkamatay ng asawa niya ganun nangyari kahit So, may pinag-aralan si ano eh. May pinag-aralan si ano. Si Garrett Lake. So, tapos, ayun guys. Itong part na ito, wala ito sa movie. So, nandun na si Teresa Osborne sa bahay niya sa city. Then, may pinadala sa kanyang package. Wala dun to sa movie guys. Tapos, alam nyo nakalagay in open niya to. Dear Teresa, ganun. Can you forgive me? Oh my God. Tapos, kinuha niya yung kumuha siya ng tissue. Then, bin tapos ito nakasulat sa last part can you forgive me in the world that seldomly understand there are wings of destiny that blow when we least expect them sometimes they just with the fury of hurricane sometimes they barely fan one's check but the wings cannot be denied bringing as they often do a future that is impossible to ignore you my darling 
are the wind that I did not anticipate, the wind that has casted more slowly than I ever imagined possible. You are my destiny. I was wrong, so wrong to ignore so to ignore what is obvious and I beg your forgiveness. Like a caution like a caution like a cautious traveler, I tried to protect myself from the wind and lost my soul instead. I was a fool to ignore my destiny, but even fools have feelings and I've come to realize that you are the most important thing that I have in this world. So, maybe ito sinulat niya bago siya nalunod, pero parang after niya niya ito sinulat kasi bakit din-explain niya yung pagka, di ba, yung kanyang bangka nalunod siya. Siyempre, malakas yung alam, malakas yung wind. Parang ganito. Oh my God. And I know I'm not perfect. <laughs> and I know I'm not perfect. I made more mistakes in the past few months than some make in a lifetime. I was wrong to have act as I did when I found the letters. Just as I was wrong to hide the truth about what I was going through with respect to my past. When I chased you, I should drove down the street and again and I watched you leave from the airport. I knew I should have tried harder to stop you but most of all, I was wrong to deny what was obvious in my heart that I can't go on without you. So, ibig sabihin, gusto niya palang i-stop na si Teresa noon na malis. You were right about everything. When we sat in so ibig sabihin nun guys yung si Catherine di ba namatay parang yung battle na yun parang ang destined para sa kanya parang sila talaga yung destined pero hindi sila nagkatuloy yun kasi namatay din si Galit sa pagpunta sa kanya so nakakalungkot so guys di ba nung panood kung napapanood niyo yung movie dun sa movie yung pinabasa sa kanya ng ama niya, yun yung letter para sa asawa niya namatay na. At yung letter na para sa kanya, ay hindi pa niya nababasa. So, nandito yun, guys. Yung binasa niya. Dalawa yung ginawang letter, pero hindi pinapita sa movie. So, guys, ito yung pinili ko lang yung sasabihin ko dito. Oh, Teresa, I am so sorry. Very sorry that I ever hurt you. I'm coming to Boston next week with the hope that you find a way to forgive me. Maybe I'm too late now. I don't know. Teresa, I love you and always will. I am tired of being alone. I sit here crying and laughing as they play in the sun and I realize I want to have children with you. I want to watch Kevin as you grow in a man. I want to hold your hands and see you cry. When finally things are bright, I want to kiss you when I scream come true. I will move to Boston if you ask because I cannot go on this way. I'm sick and sad without you. And I sit here in the kitchen and pray that you will let me come back to you this time forever, Garrett. Oh my god. So yun guys, di ba doon sa unang part dito, meron siyang hold, hold na tatlong letter sa tabi ng dagat. So, doon sa part na yun kasi parang pinutol. So, nandito sa huling part yung kadugsong na yun guys. Yung tatlong letter pala yun yung pala yun yung kay Garrett. Kasi yun yung yun. So, yun. let's continue reading this. So, I am at page 364. And, yeah, I'm gonna finish this right away. So, guys, meron pa dito isang letter, guys. Oh, oh my God, masahin ko. So, guys, yung letter na ito, ito yung letter ni Teresa Osborne. Nasagot kay Garrett na hindi na na-reply kasi nalungo siya. 
So, nakalagay dito, My darling, you want your head pass since I sat with your father in the kitchen. It is late at night and though, he, he, and though the words are coming hard to me, I can skip the feeling that it's time that I finally answer your question. Of course, I forgive you. I forgive you now and I forgive you the moment I read your letter. In my heart, I had no choice. Leaving you once was hard enough. To have done in a second time would have been impossible. I love you too much to have let you go again. Though I'm still grieving over what might have been, I find myself thankful that you came into my life for a short period of time in the beginning. I assume that we were somehow brought together to help you through your time of grief. Yet now, one year later, I come to believe that it was the other way around. Ironically, I am in the same position you were the first time we met. As I write, I am struggling with the ghost of someone I love and lost. I now understand more fully the difficulties you were going through and I realize how painful it must have been for you to move on. Sometimes my grief is overwhelming and even though I understand that we will never see each other again, there is a part of me that wants to hold on to you forever. It will be easy for me to do that because loving someone else diminishes my memory for you. Diminishes memory of you. Yet this is the paradox. Even though I miss you greatly, it's because of you that I don't dread the future because you were able to fall in love with me. You have given me hope, my darling. You told me that it's impossible to move forward in life, no matter how terrible your grief and in your own way. You made me believe that true love cannot deny. So my God, talaga guys, kailang kaya ko makikita yung aking mapapangasawa. Kailang kaya darating yung mapapangasawa ko. So, so yun guys, yung reflection ko sa pagiging ng tawad sa amin, sa aking partner sa ex ko, hindi siya humingi ng tawad sa akin. So, ni minsan, hindi siya humingi ng tawad sa akin. Kung meron ko pa yung sinasabi sila na nakausap ako, humingi siya ng tawad, wala po, wala po ako naranasan na event na pumunta siya sa amin na humingi ng tawad sa parents ko, hindi po siya na ganun. So, um, napaka-unworth it to think of it. Pero dito, guys, si Sigaret, napakabait na lalaki niya. For me, sa akin, napakabait na lalaki, napaka-responsible niya. So, humingi siya ng tawad dito. Kahit hindi naman dapat katawad-tawad. Kung baga, if you, sabi nga ni, meron pa kayo nabasa na, if you really love someone, ten times story is not enough. Guys, kasi sa totoo lang, kapag mahal mo isang tao, sorry is always a say. Kung baga, baka kasi nasasaktan mo o even though hindi naman dapat na mag-sorry kapag mahal mo ang tao parang pangisan dapat hindi ka mahihiyang mag-sorry sa kanya kasi nagkasala ka tanggap mo na nagkasala ka di ba so yun lang ang masasabi ko dito hindi siya nagkasala si Karel pero humingi siya ng sorry at sa palagay niya inasaktan niya yung damdamin ni Teresa Osborn kasi yung bangka ipinangalan niya sa ex na asawa niya So, yun ang ginawa ni Garnet kasi para just to let go the past, guys. This is just a memory of her. So, just to move on. Pero, nung time na nakagupo na siya, I just to go with uh, Therese Osborne. Doon naman, napamali yung pag-alis niya na kung saan merong bagyo, lakas yung halo. Tapos, syempre, kahit marun siya, nalunod. Kumbaga, parang nagdalawang isip ako, marin kasi siya eh, marin to eh. So, marunong siya lumang eh, guys. Sabi ko na, naisip ako, baka naman may parto pa, baka naman nalunod o nagpagpad ko sa ang parte na gano'n. <laughs> Pero hindi man, guys, eh, nalunong po ako dun sa pinakang last part. So, nag-move on si Teresa Osborne at hanggang doon lang sa part ng uh, book na to, na tinapon niya yung battle na answer niya dun sa pinapatawag na niya. So, maganda yung story na to. Kahit ba namatay, may closure, kung maganda let ko nila yung isa't isa. Guys. Yun lang, yung acceptance ang okay eh. Ako naman, accept ko naman sa akong reflection ko sa, sa book na to, sa aking sarili. Ako naman, ako matatanggap ko naman guys eh. Pero yung lamang part na gamitin yung part ko, hindi yun okay guys. Pero, 
let's let's do na take a bit na paka unworthy na maging part pa ng future ko pag alam mo iniisip mo sila kaya i am super moved on and i'm so happy with my life now uh, you know i'm struggling in my review para makapasagot sa and that's the big thing for me and i'm thankful dahil may mga taong totoong nagmamahal sa akin na hindi plastic grace so i'm very thankful so yan ganito na lang ang aking uh, reading vlog for message in the bottle so wait nyo po yung aking review book review for nicholas park's message in the bottle uh, wait nyo po yung aking book review for this message in the bottle ni Nicholas Parks. So, separate video ko nang gagawin. This is a short book review of it. So, analyzation of the cover, yung acting reflection, and the story ko ano yung lesson na yung aking natutunan. So, yeah, that's all my vlog today. And thank you for all those who subscribe on my YouTube channel. And, yeah, and if you currently watching my vlog, please subscribe on my YouTube channel, hit the like button, and click the notification bells for more video updates. So guys, that's all my vlog for today. This is Miss Isolde.